Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the rib feature in Onshape. As you can see on screen there's four challenges or activities to work through and this will be used to either introduce or develop your existing knowledge of the rib feature. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off on this green challenge in the top right hand corner by adding a simple feature to this boss and this boss you might find in a injection molded design part and it's something that I tend to cover at GCSE and A level. So along the bottom here we've got a number of tabs as always. This tab here gives an overview of the different activities and you can click on these little icons to link to YouTube and then you can watch the uh, YouTube tutorials. You've also got this tab here if you want to check out any other resources okay or tutorials and different platforms within this tutorial we've got a tutorial tab so this model that's sort of incomplete where we're going to add this feature and then we've got a reference one here where you can see I've added this rib feature within the design so what we're going to do now is add this rib feature in the tutorial part here so I'm going to go up to my work plane I'm going to turn on the front work plane and I'm going to right click on that and go sectional view so I can see a section through there so we can work on this internally and then I'm going to click on the same work plane press N for normalize and then we're going to zoom in on here so we're going to create this rib, rib feature by drawing a line down here so we don't need to draw a full triangle or anything like that we're going to draw a line like so now at the moment it's not defined because it's blue okay rather than black and I'm going to grab this point and try and snap it to the edge. Now it's not snapping to it, this edge here. Okay, I could probably just guess and eyeball it, but that's not the most accurate way of doing it. Okay, and it's the laser way of doing it. So what we want to do is fully define this and add some dimensions. So the way to do that is we're going to use a tool up here called uh, Intercept. And we're going to select, okay, this boss here. Once we select that boss, okay if we turn the part on and off it's sort of traced okay that boss where it's intersecting on the plane that I've just got active at the moment and what I'm going to do if I click escape to get out of that tool is I'm just going to turn that to construction if I could just grab that sorry there we go and I could you know delete that or turn that construction as a matter I'm only using this one side here turn the part back on Okay, and again, if we go to front and zoom in, okay, we can grab that point now and it will snap, okay, to that edge. Now, at the moment, we've got nothing on the bottom here, okay. I could try and grab that edge there because that is actually going on that face. So, I could grab that edge like that. So, I could go that edge and that point, okay, coincident. And then if I then come back into here, and we're going to dimension this from not the top of that, from that point there, if I can grab it to that point, we could give it a more accurate dimension. And again, I can go from that point to there. And now we've got a fully defined sketch. So if I give that a name, and confirm that sketch. So what I'm going to do now is go up to rib and I'm going to click on that sketch there. The part is going to be the part down here. And luckily it's uh, remembered, okay, a feature that I previously created. But if you have something like this, okay, and it says normal two, all right, that's basically trying to project that sort of, that direction okay or towards me here so it's normal to the sketch plane now that's we don't want that in this case okay even if we flip the direction it's just going to try and bring that over here okay that's why it's coming up in red up here and on the screen what we want to choose okay is parallel and again and flip that down so we don't want it to be coming out there we want it to be going down okay into that so if we have a closer look okay we need to flip the direction. Merge, if you see if I untick that, it creates this as a separate part, but I want to merge that in. We don't need to 
click on extents because um, it's already extended to my entire sketch anyway. I could, if I'd done a little part sketch, I could click that to uh, save time. I can set the, the distance here. And what that does, okay, if I've not clicked off that, there we go. What that does, if I right click and turn off section and have a look from above. Okay, you see here when I type in four, Okay, that is from the sketch I created on that work plane is sort of projecting that or extruding that out here, okay, or creating material that's two millimeters that way and two millimeters that way. All right, so from that sketch there. So if I type in three, it's one and a half each side. And if I just come out of that and click tick, you can see I've now got that feature. And again, if I just turn this off, if you needed to, okay, you can right click on that and go edit if you need to edit that, okay, or you can delete it if you needed to, and you can also rename it as well. So you've got other different features in here. And again, if you need to go into the sketch, okay, and change those dimensions, then, you know, you can do that. You can go in and update these dimensions if you needed to. So all that you can edit, like everything, okay, in on shape in terms of a feature. So what we're gonna do now is rather than doing another sketch on this side and then maybe put a sketch on this work plane, okay, we're gonna be smart and we're gonna use the circular pattern feature. So what we're gonna do is circle pattern, we're gonna look for the feature, which is the rib. You see that's now selected on screen. And now we're gonna click on the axis. So the axis we're gonna use is this edge here. That's a natural Okay, selection for an axis, and as you can see, it's created four. Okay, I could type in three there, and what we've got is, okay, three equals spaced within 360. So this is 120 degrees within each one of those. Um, we don't need to use any of these other, okay, options here. We'll cover that in another video where we do patterns. So if we update that, as you can see, we've now created not just one, but now three, okay, instances or pattern of that original feature. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.